This is one of the most incredible breakthroughs at the intersection of neuroscience and artificial intelligence we've ever seen. Harvard neuroscientists have cracked the code. Researchers from Harvard University and Google DeepMind have created a virtual rat with a brain that's eerily similar to the real one. It moves with the same fluid grace as its living counterpart. According to the researchers who developed it, the virtual rat emulates the evolutionary marvel of animal movement, they simulated the digital creature using movement data recorded from real rats. So, how did they come up with this innovation? Let me break it down for you. To get this straight, the researchers took on the daunting challenge of creating an accurate biomechanical digital replica of a rat's body within the advanced physics simulator, Mujoko. They built a virtual rodent that obeys the same physical laws as its living counterpart, taking into account the intricacies of gravity, friction, and musculoskeletal dynamics. But that wasn't enough. They wanted to make sure their virtual rat was the ultimate rat simulation experience. To achieve this, they accessed a large collection of detailed motion data recorded from real rats displaying their natural behaviors and movements. And what did they get? This treasure trove of information empowered them to craft and refine their virtual rat model with unprecedented precision. Published in Nature, the researchers created a virtual control network that mimics the brain's movement commands and then compared it to real-life brain activity from actual rats. Because, let's be real, rats are the ultimate lab buddies. The result was a staggering match between the virtual predictions and the real-life brain waves. This breakthrough is huge. It means we can now study how our brain controls movement in a way that was previously impossible. And the best part? It's all thanks to the power of AI and some seriously cool 3D movement tracking tech. For instance, take a look at this video to fully comprehend what I'm talking about. video, you'll understand that the team collaboration was fantastic. Given that DeepMind has developed a pipeline to train biomechanical agents to move around complex environments, the team then had to create an artificial neural network that could learn to control this virtual body's biomechanics and replicate the diversity of movements seen in the biological data. This is where Google DeepMind's expertise in machine learning came into play in a huge way. The DeepMind researchers worked with Harvard to apply advanced deep reinforcement learning techniques to train the artificial neural network, which would serve as a virtual rat's brain. According to Google DeepMind Senior Director of Research, Matthew Botvinnik, he said that working with the Harvard researchers was a really exciting opportunity for them. They've learned a huge amount from taking on the challenge of creating embodied agents, which are AI systems that can think intelligently and also translate that thinking into physical action in a complex environment. But here's the best part. They didn't just stop at building AI that can do things like that. They also wanted to use the same approach to unlock the secrets of the human brain. By creating AI that can think and move like us, they hope to gain insights into how our brains work and even how we behave. As a result, they've learned a ton from this challenge. They've discovered new ways to improve AI and even gained a better understanding of how our brains function. Meanwhile, the team trained the artificial neural network to implement what is called inverse dynamics models, which scientists believe our brains use to guide movement. Think about it like when you reach up for a cup of juice, your brain quickly calculates the trajectory your arm should follow and translates this into motor commands. Similarly, the team took this concept and applied it to their virtual rat. They trained the artificial neural network to learn from real rat data and generate the forces needed to mimic different movements. But here's the intriguing aspect. The virtual rat could imitate a wide range of behaviors, even ones it hadn't been specifically trained on. It's like it had a mind of its own. However, by using AI simulated animals trained to behave just like real ones, Researchers can now study neural circuits in a way that's both convenient and fully transparent. But that's not all. This technology could also be used to engineer better robotic control systems, allowing robots to move and think more like living creatures. The possibilities are endless. The researchers behind this breakthrough are driven by a passion to understand how the brain works and how it's affected by disease. But their discovery could have far-reaching implications for fields beyond neuroscience. 
So what's the next step? The team gave the virtual animal autonomy to solve tasks similar to those a real rat encounters. I mean, you know how rats search for food and use their brain to work things out? That's exactly what this robotic rat will be engaged in. One of the main things they found out the computer-made brain could do was switch between different ways of working on its own, depending on what was happening. This is a lot like how real rat brains change their patterns for different actions, like cleaning themselves, running, or standing up. The scientists could also look at how the network handled having many ways to do the same movement. How did it pick the best way? The computer brain seemed to make only small, necessary changes and avoid using extra energy or force. From the experiments, the team not only has many ideas on how to solve these tasks, but also on how the learning processes behind developing skilled behaviors work. With the virtual rats, they wanted to start to test these ideas and help advance our understanding of how real brains generate complex behavior. This is interesting because it fits with ideas about how real animal brains learn to control movement in the best way possible over time. What's most fascinating is that the virtual rat brain was figuring out these ideas on its own just by trying to make natural-looking movements. Another big discovery came from examining how small changes in the brain signals led to small changes in how the virtual rat moved. There were clear patterns in how brain changes caused certain kinds of movement changes. You can't see this kind of pattern just by watching the overall movements, but looking closely at it could help us understand how the brain controls movement. Okay, while there's still a lot more to look into, it's clear that this computer-made rat brain has created a new way to study how the brain controls movement and works overall. This wasn't possible before. Instead of just watching brain signals during actions, neuroscientists can now test and change a full model of how the brain, body, and surroundings work together in a virtual world. Nevertheless, this virtual rat platform is the ultimate sandbox for testing theories and exploring the mysteries of the brain. Want to know how neural circuits work together to make decisions, predict outcomes, and control movement? They've got the perfect lab for you to see how this thing is executed. With the platform, they can build simulated neural networks from scratch, designing the architecture, connections, and learning rules to see how they come to life. And to quickly digest this well, the virtual lab offers a level of control and transparency that's impossible to achieve with real biological specimens. You can conduct experiments with precision and accuracy, manipulating variables and observing the effects in real time. I'll say it's a game changer for neuroscience research. Now, when we move beyond the neuroscientific implications, this advancement also has deep potential for transforming robotic control. By reverse engineering the secrets of biological intelligence, we can create robots that move with the grace and agility of living creatures. Classical control theory has given us robots that can perform specific tasks, but modern AI and deep learning have shown us that robots can be so much more. They can generalize, respond to unexpected situations, and even learn from experience. But let's be real, even the most advanced robots are still clumsy and inefficient compared to the humblest animals. It's time to change that. By studying how biological intelligence emerges from the complex dynamics of the brain and body, we can create robots that are truly intelligent, truly adaptable, and truly remarkable. Imagine how all these innovations would be in the next few years. Of course, as we create virtual worlds that are almost inseparable from reality, we're faced with some astounding questions. What happens when we replicate conscious minds in a virtual space? Do we risk creating beings that demand our attention and respect, and even take us over? These are profound questions that require urgent answers. But make no mistake, this technological revolution is not just a curiosity. It's a revolutionary movement. By harnessing the power of AI-accelerated simulation, we can unlock the secrets of complex systems across science, technology, and society. I think it's a new era of discovery. Anyways... What do you think of this innovation? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching.